Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on what happened in CAP in 2015. Let's get started. The first change is the National Cadet Competition. No longer just being the twofold with drill, it is now totally redesigned, having a huge emphasis on cadets. Now, each region gets to send two teams of six cadets each during the winter, and they have a full-fledged team. For more information, check out the description below. The next change is the Curry Voucher Program. Now, this program changes it from cadets getting their blues via e-services, and now they're receiving an email which gives them a $100 gift certificate straight to Vanguard. This eliminates the known man, and it helps to create Amazon Fast Service so cadets can get their blues faster and more efficient. The downside is that cadets now only have 45 days until their voucher expires. The next change is the shuttle run. Now, they got rid of this this past winter due to people getting hurt. If you have any more questions on this, click the video here. It's now gone and they're coming up with new solutions. The next thing that happened is SEAT, Cadet Encampment Assistance Program. Now this is not just encampments, it's also uniform items and national activities such as Hawk Mountain and NISA. The goal is for cadets who have their first time attending encampment, NISA, LISA, or Hawk, and they even have the opportunity for you to return as staffing members. This has helped over 1,500 people be able to have CAP as a more reliable source and easier to go to because it is cheaper and they are now paying part, part or full. There's two options to go whether you need it or that you would rely on it. So it's allowing cadets to be able to go to encampment. For more information, you can check out the eServices page under C. There's also a Congressional Medal Character Development Program, which I've never really heard a lot about, but it's basically 57 different programs which are instilling values such as courage, selflessness, integrity, volunteer service, and things through videos, promotional things, and it's helping to lead character development in a new way. There's also a new program called the Cadet Wingman Program, or CWP. Now this is supposed to be the first talk or a guidance through when you get new cadets. So before they get their first stripe or their airmen, they're supposed to be sat down and talked with a senior mentor, not necessarily a senior member, but a senior guide who's going to help them through the cadet programs. And they go over CPP, which is also going to help the cadet, and just the core values, things that they need to know before they become airmen. There's a new NCSA, Cyber Defense Training Academy. It happens in San Antonio, Texas each year, and it started this past summer. The goal is to implement more cyber defense and for kids to get a better understanding of what it is. There's also, we also have two new badges. We have a cadet and senior STEM badge and a cadet and senior cyber badge. For more information on how to receive these badges, see the links in the description. Guys, 2015 was amazing. For more information on what happened in 2015, see the link in the description below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.